Hello everyone, and welcome back to John and Mandy Go RVing. Welcome to the 2023 Florida RV Super Show. Today we are going to tour the Northern Light 10-2 EX Dry Bath LE Truck Camper. This small space has everything you need and is surprisingly spacious. The dry weight of this unit is 3,520 pounds. The overall length is 18 feet 2 inches and the height is 106 inches. This unit even contains a full dry bath. That's right, a dry bath, not a wet bath. The fresh tank holds 36 gallons, the gray tank capacity is 40 gallons, and the black tank holds 18 gallons. This unit is compatible with a one-ton truck with an eight-foot bed. Let's take a closer look. All right, starting with the outside on this, you have an outdoor shower, city water hookup, 30 amp hookup here for your power, hot water heater, fill up your fresh water tank there, and your cable hookup there. Do you have a little window? Hook up there for solar, I believe. <laughs> On this side, we have a propane tank. There it is, outdoor speakers with an awning on this side and the back. We have an outdoor light as well. And that looks in there as well. And then down here, there is an Onan QG2500 ILP generator. Then there is a ladder to get up on top. Looking for a fast setup solution for winter camping? Air skirts is the perfect way to keep cold air away from the undercarriage of your RV. Keeping your rig warmer while cutting down on heating costs and helping to keep pipes from freezing. Air skirts are made from a military grade material designed to resist punctures. It takes less than an hour to set them up, a time saver compared to traditional skirting or foam board. This is the quickest, most hassle free option for winter camping, and you don't have to drill into your rig. The air skirts fit snugly because they are customized to fit your rig for maximum air blockage. They also carry a variety of additional accessories to ensure a warm and cozy winter in your RV. Visit airskirts.com and use our promo code John and Mandy at checkout for a discount. So coming inside, you have the bathroom on the left, the toilet has some separation from the rest of the bathroom, which is kind of a wet bath, but you have the separation barrier. I like this. I could I could deal with this. Then there's a mirror on the sliding door. And across from the bathroom, you have this closet area. Switch is here for awnings and such. Awning lights, generator switch. Storage right next to the fridge here. But Pantry stuff in these drawers if you need. Towels or whatever. Nice size fridge for a truck camper like this. Has its own separate freezer. I mean, this is adequate for one or two people. If, even full time, I would say, if you're just one person. And here's the kitchen area. You have an oven and three burner stove. Little storage up above. 
as well as over here. And this one has a microwave in it. You have your control station for your radio and I don't see USB there, but there is, oh wait a minute, yeah, right, right there, hiding. So your lighter hook up, regular outlet, little storage there, towel rack in the back. This window does open out. Underneath the stove you have room for pots and pans. Plenty of room for a trash can. Heck, there's more room for a trash can in this one than there is in our own motor home. Sponge tray. Gotta have that sponge tray. Silverware in there. Across from the kitchen, there's a nice wraparound dinette with storage underneath on the one side here with a drawer. This does drop down into a bed, nice size bed. There is some storage above. This one again. Same thing. Temperature control and such back here. Before you step up to the bed, there is another drawer underneath. And underneath the dinette, there's room to put your shoes. Little cubby hole. Outlet underneath. Vented speakers as well. Stepping up into the bedroom. There is a TV on this side on a swivel. Plenty of storage underneath. A couple more in the back here. On either side, same thing. Accent lights, normal lights, a little bit of a skylight action there. Thanks everyone for joining us today and if you found any of this information useful please give us a like and feel free to subscribe. Take care everyone.